Welcome back everybody. I'm now the proud owner of Duo Garmin GI275s in my Mooney Ovation. The top unit is an ADI AHARS Autopilot, which talks to my KFC 150 Autopilot. The bottom unit is a standby ADI slash MFD and therefore can display a whole bunch of pages as well as act as a standby ADI in case my top unit fails and it's very reliable that way. Having both units Basically, the attitude indicator becomes 99.99999% reliable. And even they have great lightning protection. So the likelihood of being struck by lightning and having those units fail is very low. Um, I want to show you in this video how the flight director works in the GI-275s compared to what I had in my vacuum driven attitude indicator, the KI-256. And you'll notice that in the KI-256, the uh, flight director, when engaged, um, is not really stable. As I'm running, rolling down the runway and bouncing around a little bit, it will bounce. And as I take off, it decreases its pitch from what I set and on, uh, once I'm climbing, it also is lower pitch than what I had set, which would give me a lower climb pitch than I would want, and therefore flatter, and possibly not even climb that much and clear obstacles. Um, I put it at 10 degrees, which with this, with the attitude, the vacuum driven attitude indicator would give me a VX, a little plus more in VX. It would not hold that. You'll notice that very quickly. And there's parallax because the two units, the two, the flight director and the little airplane to match to the flight director are on separate planes. In the GI-275s, it's one single plane because it's an LCD screen plus the digital AHARs, it becomes very rock solid. And uh, the, the flight director does not, command bars do not, the flight director command bars don't move around as much slightly, but not as much as in the uh, mechanical unit. The first GI-275 takeoff is during the day, my first takeoff with the flight director to test it out, make sure it worked well, and it did beautifully. And um, as you, you'll notice, as I take off, I climb and I match the little airplane in the attitude indicator with the command bars, made it up there, and whatever the command bars are telling me to do is what I follow with, with my, uh, uh, yoke and um, and it's beautiful it works very nicely the second takeoff is at night a uh, essentially an IFR takeoff because I'm taking off over the east over the ocean with a, on a moonless night and it becomes a black hole and uh, that's when you really want to focus on your instruments and having a uh, flight director is very very useful so join me we'll see how it, how it works comparing all of them and how it works on the GI-275, which I'm really very happy to have. See you up in the air. Let's set my heading. My pitch. All right, I'm gonna put pitch up to 10 degrees. What you doing? Kind of creek traffic, Mooney 495 Charlie Papa is departing 18 northeast bound departure. All right, right runway engine instruments are good, airspeed's alive, keep the center line. Gears coming up. Flaps coming up. There's a bird. That is bumpy. Well. 
It worked in the way it should. Kenner Creek traffic, Mooney 495, Charlie Papa, departing traffic, departing traffic, northeast bound. So, what I want to do, traffic, night train 278 is set the heading mode, off runway niner and, we'll be departing to the north and west. trim up uh, the button. Eight degrees. See how I end up. And see how it holds. That's where I want to be for takeoff. Eventually, on climb. We'll see how well it holds and how well guys made it. Flaps are down, trims are set. Fernandini Beach traffic, Mooney 4905, Charlie Papa, taxiing on 209. We'll be departing 09, southbound departure. I got my heading 089, which is a little bit right of right of course. I'm going to go 88. Runway is supposed to be 87.8 degrees magnetic. Okay, I'm getting on the correct runway. Get that guy, make sure he's out of the way. Line me up. Fernandina Beach traffic, 2495, Charlie Papa departing 09, Fernandina southbound departure. All right, engine instruments are all looking good. Uh huh. Fernandina traffic, night train 278 is going to make a cross, is turning cross one for a cross on departure to the north. -west. Looks good. Yeah, it's holding good. Gears coming up. Legend traffic, Archer Zero Pacto to New Left Base, runway Nanner, touch and go. And my flight director is doing just perfectly. Flaps coming up. Perfect, perfect, perfect. See that? Yeah. Much better than my vacuum driven one. Plus. Legend traffic, Archer Zero Pacto to Final, uh, runway Nanner. For an IFR takeoff, that is perfect. I can trim it down just a little bit to get cruise climb. And let's turn right. On course. Front of the beach traffic, Mooney 495, Charlie Papa departing traffic southbound. I want that on about five degrees. Get me cruise climb. Drop it down some more. I like it. Look at that. Let's put the Heading bug on, and I'm going to sync it for a second, and I'm going to go up on the flight director to show me eight degrees. That's about right there. And I'm going to go back with my heading bug to 88. Correct. Front end beach traffic, Mooney 495, Charlie Papa taxiing onto runway 09, departing 09, westbound departure. Getting on the right runway here, 09.
Right on the center. For the beach traffic, Mooney 495, Charlie Puppet departing 09, westbound departure. Okay. There we go. Gears coming up. Keep that flight director telling me what to do. Flaps coming up. Positive rate of climb, good speed. I can start pushing it down some. Get up to 105. All right, 400 above ground. Let's turn left. 105. Let's get to cruise climb. I like it. 